What's going on guys? Uh, your boy D1 Snipes here and guess what we're talking about today? COD Champs 2K15. Uh, the rule set and announcement were made today. The rule set is a little bit uh, a little bit weird if you ask me. Um, heard a couple rumors. I actually saw it before it went down. Uh, they took it down. Yes, I'll get to that. But um, <clears throat> so there was a lot. Uh, it was long. It was complicated. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't really understand why they did it. But the more that I thought about it, I do understand why. Um, I think that what COD Champs is trying to do with making it uh, the, the biggest tournament of the year basically uh, what they've done over the last four years is really try to make this as professional and legitimate as possible. Um, if you think about it, uh, COD Champs has the most professionalism of any of the tournaments, of more so than MLG, more so than UMG by themselves. Uh, UMG, I feel like, is just kind of thrown together. They're on the lower tier. Uh, they are coming up, though. The addition of the website over this last year has been great for them. I'm glad they did that. Uh, props to them. They are moving up, but they still have some hitches. Like uh, the last UMG, there was rumors they were using old routers, old Xboxes, uh, broken Xboxes. People were complaining about... Uh, but that's besides the point. They're on the up and up. Uh, MLG has been consistent over the last uh, at least year and a half, two years. Uh, I'm glad that they have become more and more professional and fan friendly. But COD Champs to me seems like it's going for a more mature audience or a more professional audience. And it can it can be taken one of two ways um, one way you can look at it is COD Champs is really 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 trying to get uh, professional Call of Duty out there they're trying their damnedest to get uh, everyone to think that this is legit okay they have this million dollar tournament they have like the, all of this big stuff like it's just they want to make it as big as possible and it, but along with making it as big as possible as making it as professional as possible and have it have it being taken seriously by other uh, other forms of, of sport and other forms of business uh, you have to look at it both ways uh, a sport can be COD Champs can be fun to watch uh, UMG is fun to watch uh, Everything is just kind of thrown together. Uh, the CODcasters, I mean, they're still top-notch CODcasters, but you can just tell the difference from when they're at a UMG event and then an MLG event, and even a G3 event, you can tell a difference. Um, G3 is kind of a spectator thing. There's a lot of seats. They're really close. Uh, the pros are all just kind of around the crowd the whole time. But at COD Champs and MLG, they have like their own lounges. Uh, you hardly see them unless they're watching a main stage game and they're usually trying to hide from fans. And I don't really blame them for that. But I feel like <clears throat> COD Champs is trying to trying to not just spread the word, but say, hey, we're legit. Uh, take us seriously uh, this could be a good investment for you and I feel like that's where they're trying to head uh, rather than just please the fans and just please the players um, one thing with this rule set um, Spacely uh, would not be allowed to play he would be one day too late on his birthday uh, to become of age which uh, some people were calling it you know, bull, and they did this on purpose, but yada yada. I don't understand why they would do that on purpose. I think it was just coincidence and a date that sounded good in their head and make it sooner rather than later, I guess. Um, but either way, um, if these rules stand, a couple teams are going to have to make some changes. So, uh, elevate, obviously, with Spacely, and then you have, um, 
I saw something there it was <clears throat> excuse me uh, something about you had to be a US citizen now this really concerns me because there are a lot of European players well to qualify for US team excuse me for the US the 16 teams from the US that get to go uh, Optic Nation and Swanee a recent pickup uh, that kinda came out of left field um, and I didn't really expect to see that, but I did before it went down. And that's uh, that's that's huge for them. Um, do you drop maybe your best player? Swanee is probably at least top three in Europe for best Call of Duty players, and he's really been performing well in the league. Uh, apparently, he performed well on land at the UMG. So, uh, what do you do? Do you just leave Swanee at home hey man sorry we're going to this tournament where we could win hundred thousand dollars but you know sorry you're gonna have to set out on this one cuz I mean that's that's really hard to do because that's his livelihood um, another thing to look at is the the free agents uh, Embos and uh, tells the guy's name mud dog both of those guys have been waiting uh, all month long for uh, just to fill in for teams either at lands or in their league games and they're just looking for a chance um, these guys are hoping that the rules stand honestly because you have a, a good team of three that maybe has a player dropped like Optic Nation and Embos uh, they could pick him right back up and they wouldn't lose that much time just because uh, they've played together even though it didn't really work out and everything they've still played together and that that goes a long way especially in Call of Duty so I don't know uh, this is kinda crazy these guys are also playing for their livelihood so they want a shot at this um, I also saw a rumor with uh, Parasite and Killa were talking and kind of joking about getting the the old uh, COD Champs crew back together from 2012 uh, or no, excuse me, that was 2013 in Black Ops 2 shit, wrong again it was 2012 with Black Ops 2 but uh, with Miracles uh, Killa, Parasite, and Karma they tweeted at Karma, Karma has not responded Thank God that would be a that would be a train wreck waiting to happen. But anyways, uh, a lot going on right now. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, what I saw, um, what I think happened, what I think will happen. Who knows? Honestly, I honestly think that they will change the rules. Uh, I think that they will let Spacely in. I think that they will let Swanee in. Um. But I think that they just did those things to try and make the tournament more legit. And who can blame them for that? Um, they're just trying uh, really hard for the sport. Uh, they, they're they looking for things in the long run. Uh, they're not just looking at this tournament. Um, so that's really what I think the motivation behind that was. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think that the rules should stand as is? Do you not, do you think that they shouldn't change rules just for one or two players? Uh, if you had to pick up a free agent, Embos, uh, somebody else that you guys have in mind? Um, and uh, who do you guys think is going to win uh, 2K15 COD Champs? Optic looks solid. It's really hard to argue against them if FaZe plays well. Uh, if Elevate can get something crazy going, uh, I don't think that any of those younger teams will make much of a splash just because there's so much pressure and they really haven't been on that stage before. I'd say that, you know, 4 through 12 will just kind of be up in the air, but I think the top four teams will be pretty consistent. <clears throat> uh, I'll probably do an update on this video later. Hopefully, this wasn't too long for you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. And let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Again, thank you guys for watching. Peace.